Dennis Dugard is the 32nd governor of the state of South Dakota. He joins us live from the state capitol, the governor's mansion at the state capitol in Pierre. And if you pronounce it Pierre, you're not from around here. Governor Dugard is uh, the 32nd governor of the state, a Republican, came to office in 2011. Governor, first of all, congratulations on being the top state for 2013. Well, thank you very much, Scott. We're really pleased to be chosen. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll start with the easy part. How is it and what can states learn from what has been a, a well-kept secret to some degree in South Dakota? What are you doing right? We found that your costs were very, very low, but also your regulations very friendly, and it's hard to compete against this quality of life. Uh, what is it that you're doing right? Well, I think one thing we've been doing for decades is trying to be a fiscally responsible state. We've always balanced our budget, and many states uh, boast that they do so, but we've been doing so uh, truly and uh, using no gimmicks. We don't use one-time dollars to, to spend on ongoing expenses. We don't borrow money uh, to cover ongoing expenses. We don't push expenses into a following year. Uh, we fund our pension fully. Uh, as of June 30th, our, pen our pension was 100% funded. So we're trying to demonstrate that the government is managing itself responsibly while keeping taxes very low. And while many states are balancing their budgets now, uh, they do have long-term liabilities that eventually are going to have to be borne by businesses and individuals in those states. We don't have any long-term right. liabilities. And, and those all helped certainly in your, in your ranking and your score this year. But let me get to the, some of the, the tough parts that you're facing. You have a worker shortage in this state and a shortage of skilled workers. You came in very low in our technology and innovation category. You're, as we, as we saw, going to places like Minnesota trying to recruit folks. What are you doing to try and get this state a little bit more in the mainstream, better connected, and get the workers back? And how much will that hold you back if you can't do it? Well, one of the things we're doing to encourage workers to come to South Dakota is a program called Dakota Roots, which was established by my predecessor. And Pat Costello, our Commissioner of Economic Development, and I are working hard to encourage South Dakotans and former South Dakotans and those who went to school in South Dakota to return to South Dakota. And we're marketing directly to them through email and other uh, social media. And we're having some success. We're getting uh, several thousand people registered and they can look for work in South Dakota from afar. Also in the last decade, South Dakota has become a net in-migration state. So even though our unemployment rate is low, our population is growing and some of those jobs that are currently held by um, uh, South Dakota's uh, employees are multiple part-time jobs. So if a, a good employer comes in and offers a living wage and good benefits, they can easily attract workers to those kinds of jobs. Dennis Dugard, the 32nd governor of the state of South Dakota, which is also America's top state for business 2013, a winner and new champion. And now,